You're locked into Linkage Radio 101.7 FM. We're in Mount Vernon. Also streaming live on my Instagram at JimmyQJA. So, yo, first of all, Fire MC, welcome to the show. Yeah, man, what's well, going on? Well, go on. You hearing me and everything? Everything good, man. How did you get into music? Um, Who were some of the persons who inspired you to start doing music? Well, just the great ones, you know, like Michael Jackson, um, Bob Marley. But the first one for dancehall, the yeah. first artist that got me in, Shabba Ranks, man. Yeah, Shabba Ranks. That, that was my youth, ting a ling a ling mm-hmm. That's when I was, you know, when I was real young, and that's how I got into it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When did you um, first start putting out professional records, though? Uh, my first one that I put out was in 2014, but I was doing it the whole time, just trying to find, you know, like, the right people, you know, the right engineer, all of that stuff. Like, you know, eventually I found it. Mm-hmm. So in 2014, I finally put something out. But I've been doing this, you know, basically since I was like eight, nine years old. I've been trying to do something. But it just yeah. never happened until like 2014. Well, I mean, everything happened in its own time, in the appropriate time, actually. For and sure. um, today we're here with you talking about the album Goldmine, it's called. And, you know, that shows some amount of growth from where you were in 2014 to where you are now. So, again, big up yourself for that. Um, I can definitely listen to songs and I detect a theme in these songs. Um, party vibes, girl vibes. Is that the kind of energy that your music um, promotes? Definitely, definitely. If it's not something conscious, it's definitely going to be um, a girl vibe, party vibe. Or like I said, something for your whole of meds to and just, you know, really think about something. I'm not really stepping into the any of the other stuff you know mm-hmm. not that i can't do it but you know it's not it's not beneficial to the other black people and it don't make no sense no more so if it's not positive vibes you're not doing yeah. it that's not what your music is about um what inspires your songs what inspires the production process for you um the production process uh, it, it's whatever whatever i'm feeling at the time we go on party i'm gonna feel a good vibe I, you know, I might come up with the line right there. And I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of person, if I get one line and I love it, mm-hmm. see, good body girl, once we say, oh, good body girls, always in a style, but they look clean, now you feel me, child. Basically, the rest of the song probably take like 10 minutes. Once I find a, li- a, li- a nice line like that, I like. So, you know, that's, that's one process. I, I could do, I could make songs without writing, which is what I've been doing mostly just in my head now, mm-hmm. or... You know, I'm really good at writing. So if I put pen to paper, it's, it's, it's the same kind of thing. I've just been doing it so long. Like I challenge myself that way. Like a- any process, if I hear that, oh, this is how the other artists are doing it. I'm going to try that too. Cause I've tried the other ones, you know? So that's my process is, I said it in one of my songs, my process is basically whatever it takes. Yeah. So sometimes you do draw inspiration from what's happening or, or what other artists are doing right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what's the reception been like to your songs? What people are talking about? What am I say? Oh, man. Good Body Girls Alone, I could tell you, everybody that hears that song loves it. Same thing with, um, with Need You. When I first put Need You out, everybody loved it. Morning Shine, same thing. I'm mm-hmm. going to drop visuals for Cup Sup and Fire Stick and those kind of songs because I've been getting all positive. Everybody's like, yo, I'm getting ideas for videos and everything. So, you know, it's, I'm just in a good space right now. I'm really happy with, you know, the reception. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell us about your team. Um, who do you work with? Who makes your beats? Who do the videos and all that? Is it, do you do any of those things? Do you play any instruments or anything like that? No, I don't. I don't, you know, back back in school days when they were learning to play instruments, we couldn't afford that. So yeah. I didn't learn how to play the instruments, but, you know, I definitely try to get a professional, somebody, because I have passion for making music. I try to get someone that has the passion for mixing music to mix the song. You know, the, the, the person who's passionate about mastering, I get them to master it. Mm-hmm. The videographer that's passionate about that, I try to, you know, and then we all just put our passions together and make something great. Mm-hmm. But um, what's the what's question again? God, no, yeah, yeah, I, I just wanted to talk about your, the team that you work with, you know, and you, you oh, the team, started yeah. mentioning, not names, per se, but, you know, persons who help in different aspects of the production process. All right. Well, for the team now, definitely I have to mention, and I'm going to mm-hmm. mention the names, King Kim's Media House. Kim mm-hmm. definitely has been putting me on shows like yours and, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. Everybody that's seen all the, you know, the, the press that I'm getting, it's from Kim. 
-hmm. as far as who makes the beats i go online and i search for the beats myself like that's where the game is now like i don't have to wait on a producer anymore because that basically stalled me for years waiting on a producer recording song i've recorded hundreds of songs that you know will never see the light of day because the producer wasn't as serious as i was Mm -hmm. and you know the song just lay in a limbo but now i go online i find the beat myself is it that producers were keeping the songs not releasing them that's what you mean yes and you know some producers will be like oh they don't think this song is is ready for the road yet and they they need to get this this and that done and i'm like oh you know i'm an artist i can't tell people i'm a recording artist or i'm Mm. an artist for mc and i have nothing to show for it yeah so you know eventually once i found that i can get the beats for myself online that's what I've been doing it. So for that, in that aspect, you know, and videographers, I search for the vi- videographers myself. I find somebody I like, link them, talk to them, you know. If I have to pay, don't pay me. I do whatever, you know, I, I do whatever it takes, you mm-hmm. know. And, and uh, my manager, my, that's my, my actual brother, Lenny, you know, Lenny, big up yourself. He, you know, he'll step in and help me out here and there financially or, if he has an idea, he'll be like, yo, he'll run it by me. And, you know, if I have to speak to anybody, I'm like, yo, this is my manager. And I'll, you know, make him talk to them and, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So that's that's really the team for now. I'm trying to get an um, actual videographer. That's my videographer. That Everything I'm on, I can just link that one person. Yes. I haven't got that yet. But, you know, I'm in the process. All right. All right. Let's talk about gold mine now. Um, in brackets, you have left brain. Um, what's the significance yeah. in the name of the album? Okay, so you know in your brain, you have the left brain and the right brain. Mm-hmm. So I'm a dancehall and hip-hop artist. That's where your accent the slang come from or where the twang come yeah, from. You get the accent, bad man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. So because, I, you know, I, I live in Jamaica for half my life. I live in Canada for half my life. So, okay. You know, I've always been doing that. Even since my first album, Hybrid Music, I've been trying to show, you know, the different sides. So Left Brain Now, if you look at even the, the, the cover art, for mm-hmm. anybody who checks out the cover art, you'll see that on the left side of the brain. It's like a, a golden brain on the cover for the cover art. But yeah, man, people go check it out. But on the left side, you'll see all the dance symbolism. You'll see the, um, the hummingbird, the Jamaica flag, the sound system, the, the red striped beer. Uh, and then on the right side now, you see the CN Tower, you see the Canadian flag, you see, you know, the, the Blue Jay and all of that stuff. Because uh-huh. what the way, the way I made the album is left brain is my dancehall side and right brain is going to be the hip hop side and right brain is going to be dropping soon. So it's really a double album. That, that's a but, pretty nice concept still. That but, yeah, it's a really nice concept. But let me ask you, which side of the brain stronger? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> yo, nobody <laughs> ever asked me that before. You got a hip hop and a dancehall brain, left mm. brain, right brain. Which side of the brain is stronger? Or which side of the brain do you prefer? That's the thing. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I love everything. I don't know how to answer because, all right, when if I'm really in a contemplative um, mindset, like I speak like this, like mm-hmm. where we Jamaicans would I call it, twang, it will be more like this. So you'll find that my hip hop, my hip hop is more edgy. Mm-hmm. You know, my dancehall is more party vibe or something conscious, but my hip hop is more edgy. It's more like cocky, like borderline cocky, I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I try not to go too as hard, as hard as everybody else does. Like, you know, intentionally, I try to make sure I don't do that because, you know, I still have to represent who I am, but it's way more edgy. Mm-hmm. So, but it's it's basically just me. So it's different sides of me. So it's like, um, definitely, but I'll say this much, the dance outside is easier. Mm-hmm. It's easier for me to come up with something for the, for the, the dance outside. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I like the versatility because you have um, preferences for your fans. You know, if they want a dance hall, if they want a hip hop, and I'm pretty sure that you have a blend sometimes. Cause yeah, it's this is okay. Their art. Yeah. Okay. This is what happened. The first album I released was hybrid music, right? Mm-hmm. So I blended, I have hip hop and I have dancehall on the album. What happened was when I started getting feedback, people were like, people who like dancehall were like, yo, I had to listen to all those hip hop tracks. 
And then people who like only like hip hop were like, yo, I don't understand all this dance house. I didn't get that part. So that's why this time when I re-release, you know, when I'm releasing an, my, basically this is a successor to hybrid music. Right. So that's why I did it that way where I had, where I separated the album, like, you know, left brain and right brain. You have the hip hop coming out and the dance are coming out as separate entities. And then I'm still going to make the one with both Same. of them on it. <laughs> right, right, yeah. You know, but I had to separate it this time. So if you're not into the hip hop, then you go left brain. If you're not into, you know, you can pick now. I give I give them the choice, you know, and that's just from taking the, the constructive criticism and feedback that I got from dropping the first one. All right. Do you have any collabs on the album or any features? I have one feature on, on Left Brain with uh, Maximus. Mm -hmm. It's another uh, local artist out here in, um, in Canada, in Brampton. Maximus, big up yourself. Like, you know, that's the, um, that's the only collab on this. On the hip hop, I'm going to have other collabs with a lot more people. But, you know, I'm going to leave that till when the hip hop side. Right. Yeah. When you drop the song with Drake. The song with Drake. Oh, no. Drake. Anytime Drake link me. <laughs> Anytime Drake link me. Huh? We're going to drop the song with Drake. <laughs> we're on Lake Adrena right now. 101.7 FM. We're talking to Fire MC. He's in Canada. He's a Jamaican artist in Canada. Album is out called Left Brain. Goldmine. You know, definitely go and check it out. Let me just ask him about Drake. Because you know Jamaican stay people. We are Canada. We are hip hop. We are artists. And we think yeah. Drake. But um, it's a good vibe to the album. Uh, you know, I really like the production. As I was saying on ear um, earlier, Cups Up is my song just because of the whole party vibe. And I can relate to a lot of things that you're saying in that song, like the rum part. You know, yeah. and as Jamaicans, we find yeah. things we see. And he, people, he has rum in his cup right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So we're on Lincoln Radio. Um, we, this is the weekend rave, Jimmy Q. Of course, please. We have a few, a few minutes left in the show. Um, if you could collab with an artist for your next album, who would it be if you had a choice? Uh, for hip hop, uh, definitely Drake, you know, and um, it's sad at DMX pass because that was one of my favorite artists too. Rest in peace. Uh -huh. um, you know, definitely would love to do something with Jay Z, like you know, you know, the, reg the regular lineup, like anybody that's the great. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to achieve greatness too. So if I can align myself with anybody great on that side, but um, as far as the dance, I'll know, you know, easy cartel. But when, somebody who I really look yeah, upon, lock away that, right now. Yeah, as a cartel, lock away right now. We don't know if yeah. yeah but music still have come out. <laughs> um, Pre-recorded, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> so them say, but I'm um, busy. Yeah. Busy is an artist that I rate. This is an artist I like his I like his fame. Mm -hmm. He's, he, he makes undeniable music, but in the in the foolishness. Mm -hmm. You know, same with Agent Sasko and um, you know, artists like that. I love to do something with chronic, something, you know, and more of the conscious side. Mm -hmm. You know, it, like just artists like that I would love to work with. Love to work with some of the artists in Africa, man. Like, yo. I would love to, I love to do that because Africa, Africa is, you know, a big support system for me. Like everything I put out and I checked, I started checking stats, everything I put out, I get mad love from Africa. So, you know, everybody in Africa, Ghana, you know, big up on the self. Mad vibes, mad vibes. All right. So the album is out and it's on all platforms, right? Um, yeah. What's next for you? Um, like I said, well, I'm, I'm working on a video for Fire Stick now. That's going to be the next the next move that I make. When does it drop? Gonna do, um, I did, well, not to make it first. I'm make it oh, yet, you, but, no, you didn't have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't make it yet, but that's the one that I'm, um, I'm, I think I'm going to drop next. Mm -hmm. uh, Cups up. I'm trying to do that, but that I forgot to be, like I said, that's a nice party vibe. And because it's going into fall now, I kind of say, oh, I could leave the one there until probably put off the one there for now. But it definitely, I got to do. Mm -hmm. But let's put that one off for now. But yeah, yeah, that's and that, and obviously, right brain. I'm definitely gonna drop that too in the coming months. So, you know, like that's what's up for me. But before anything else, more show people the album because you know I put a lot of effort into this thing. Like this is what the album is done. So this is the gold mine album right here. Mm -hmm. It's on USB. See, right. there, there's oh, it looks like a credit card, but it's yeah. it's a USB. Yeah. Yeah, it's a USB, so you just flip this around, plug it in, 
and the album. This is a physical album. Otherwise, you can find it anywhere online. You know, mm-hmm. regular the regular suspects, or you can go to my my website. All right. So you, since we're talking about contact, you can plug contact info now. Um, your social media, your website, and all that. How can people find you? All right. You can find me at Fire MC. If you just Google Fire MC, there's only one. You know, like so F I Y A H M C. Um, yeah, but Spotify, same Fire MC. Instagram is the same Fire MC. Facebook, Twitter, um, Tumblr. You know, Everyone. every, every <laughs> a lot of places, <laughs> a lot of places. You know, sometimes it's hard, it's hard to keep track and, and keep updating all these things because you know I didn't get I didn't get a tech person on my team yet that's like responsible yeah. for all my social yet. Mm-hmm. I didn't get that person yet, so that's the next step for me for, for angle all of them social media. But yeah, man. Yeah, hey, bless up, bless up. Um, do you have anybody you want to shout out real quick before we step? Uh, yeah, man, shout out the whole of Brampton, shout out Waterhouse, you know, all of my family, my dad is still Tajan Debbie, Uncle Andrew, um, you know, Miss Chin, all of my, everybody, everybody that's been supporting Fire MC, all the fans in Ghana, Zimbabwe, everywhere, yo, yo, I'm, I really appreciate the love, man, and, and, you know, y'all giving me the strength to continue doing this because, you know, all the love that you're showing so yeah, man, big up on yourself, everybody in Canada, everybody in Toronto, Brampton, big up. You don't know. Yeah, Fire man. MC, bless up. I'm going to take you out, peace, with this one called Cops Up from Fire MC. Goldman album is out. Go and search for it, Fire MC on all platforms. This is Linkage Radio 101.7 FM, The Weekend Rave. Jimmy Q right here. Taking it out. Let's go. Going out to the good family and friends. Meet my family.